Hello friends, this video on reproduction in plants part 20 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us look at question number 5. How does the process of fertilization take place in flowers? So this is what we have anyways discussed. So in sexual reproduction, the main uh, thing happens during fertilization that is the fusion of the male and the female gamete. So the male gamete is pollen and the female gamete is in the egg or the ovum. So these two fuse together and as a result a single cell structure called zygote is formed and then this zygote undergoes multiple divisions to form what is called as embryo. So if you look at this inside the this entire process takes place inside the ovule. So if you see here the male gamete reaches through the pollen tube and it reaches here where the female gamete is already there and then the fertilization takes place inside the ovule. So this is how the entire process take place. Question number six. Describe the various ways by which seeds are dispersed. So seed dispersion is referred to the uh, transfer of seeds from the parent plant. So the plant which produces seeds, so from that plant it is scattered away from in different places. So it can happen through various agents like wind. Wind can carry away lightweight seeds. It can happen through water. It can also happen through animals. So animals can also carry seeds from one place to another, either to, uh, through their beak or through their uh, toes. Sometimes the seeds get stuck to the toes of animals. In fact, some animals while eating fruits, they just throw the seeds away here and there. So that's how animals can also help in seed dispersion. Question number seven. Match items in column 1 with those in column 2. So let's see what do we have in columns 1 and 2. So these are the options given. So first is bud. So bud, budding happens in case of yeast, hydra, yeast. These are the organisms where budding happens. But bud is a, a tiny outgrowth on the body of that organism. And that tiny outgrowth over a period of time grows to become a new organism. Eyes. Where do we see eyes? Eyes are seen on potato and these eyes are nothing but buds which are capable of giving rise to shoot system under favorable conditions. Fragmentation. So fragmentation occurs in spirogyria where the body gets body breaks into pieces and each piece is capable of giving rise to a new organism. Wings. So wings are in maple. So the maple tree which the leaves are mostly popular. So their wings are used. Sports. So spores would match to the bread mold. So bread mold, have you ever seen? How does it look like? It looks like thin thread like thin thread like structures with uh, a kind of you know blobs above. So these blobs are nothing but they contain the spores, and through spores they can reproduce. So spore formation is the mode of reproduction for bread molds. Question number eight. Take the correct answer. The reproductive part of a plant is the flower of course because flower contains the uh, carpel and the stamen which are the male and female reproductive parts of the plant. The process of fusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. Yes, so this is the correct option. Mature ovary forms the now after fertilization the ovary becomes mature it ripens up to form the fruit so ovary becomes fruit and what happens to the ovule ovule becomes seed a spore producing plant is spore producing is seen in mostly the fungi so bread mold is an example of a spore producing plant bryophyllum can reproduce by its so bryophyllum is the uh, Miracle leaf plant. So here their leaves have uh, buds and these buds are capable of giving rise to new plants. So they reproduce by bud, by leaves. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and I hope that this lesson on reproduction in plants would have helped you. So we saw here that how plants can reproduce both sexually as well as asexually. So this, this must have been a new learning for you because you got to know a lot of new things. So all you can do to make your learning even more interesting is while going through this lesson, you can actually uh, take a flower to understand the structure of flower. You can actually look at the plant behavior to understand these things better. So I hope this lesson would have helped you. So see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. 
please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.